New at 10, Senate Bill 37, also known as Paul Miller's Law, now passed by the House of Representatives Transportation Committee. And tonight we're hearing from Paul Miller's mother, who lost her son nearly 14 years ago to a distracted driver. Fox 56's Taylor Wardenby joins us live with how she spent the years since trying to prevent the tragedy from happening to someone else. Taylor. That's right, she's a mom on a mission. This is the furthest they've gotten with Paul Miller's law. On July 5th, 2010, 22 year old Paul Miller was killed while traveling on State Route 33 when a distracted driver reached for their phone while driving a tractor trailer hitting Paul's vehicle. Paul's mother, Eileen Miller, has been fighting for 13 years to help save lives and prevent families from dealing with the heartache she lives with from losing a child. Now, a legislation in Paul's honor makes a significant milestone in ongoing efforts to create change and prevent tragedies caused by distracted driving. It just went through the House Transportation Committee on Tuesday and it was voted out and so now it will be in the House chamber. So I'm really hoping that it will go through in April, which will be Distracted Driving Awareness Month, so that would be amazing. I want to do it for other parents so they never, ever have to view what I have to view, which they didn't want me to view. They begged me not to go view him, and I said, he's mine. And I had to be there for him to tell him that I would find out how he died and what caused it, and I would make change. And I made him that promise. I just didn't think it would take this long. And there was me at the morgue looking at my son who I couldn't even identify and I just couldn't understand like why it came back to me. Senate Bill 37, known as Paul Miller's Law, will seek to increase road safety. The goal is to have this go through as a primary offense. It's been a long, hard process, I'm not going to lie. You know, telling my son's story, you know, if it saves one life, um, that is my goal. But uh, the legislative process I knew would be hard. I just didn't honestly think that it would take me, you know, this long. Eileen says there have been many amendments to the legislation, which in the long run has made it stronger. But in the meantime, it's not being passed and people are dying on the roads every day. What we're simply trying to say is get your phone, turn it off so that it's really basically saying quit texting, quit emailing. You know, when you're driving down the road, we basically want to take this out of their hand so they can't hold it like this, do this. They have to just simply mount it or use Bluetooth. Senator Rosemary Brown released a statement saying the bill is common sense, reasonable, and will save lives, saying it will help innocent drivers on our roadways. Brown also adds crashes by distracted drivers are preventable and urges Pennsylvania drivers to contact their state representatives to share their support. Paul's mom says she won't stop after this legislation. Reporting live on Taylor Wharton B with Fox 56 News first at 10. Taylor thanks state police 